Since the dawn of time, Winchester has built the finest, most accurate bolt-action rifles on the planet. Now, the evolution of the bolt-action rifle forges on the Winchester XPR. Winchester, we know bolts since forever. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. There's a dog in the corner. He is a stud of a deer. He has got a doe. Let him turn right on him. That's right. Let's do it. Oh, Let's do it. This week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, it's off to Louisiana as J.J. Kaliser takes his Winchester XPR to the timber and closes the deal on a beautiful seven-year-old buck. This is a slammer of a Louisiana. But wait, there's more. We join Kyle Lamore in Illinois as he is chasing the elusive song dogs in an effort to improve their whitetail herd. We got a few coyotes we need to take care of. Coyote hunting, the beautiful thing about it, it does not take a lot of time. Honest to God, we do usually one set right before dark, very minimal time, very minimal intrusion. You know, get in there, get the calls going, and either it works or it doesn't. We got four main rules that we follow by. When we enter, we try to keep the wind in the face. Two, we try to sit in a spot where the dogs can't circle downwind of you. Three, we try to set up the decoy in a manner that is not directly in line with where we think that particular dog is going to come. And the fourth rule that we keep in mind is that you walk the minimum amount of distance you need to to effectively call to the dog or where you think the dog might be denned up. If you keep those four rules in mind, in our experiences, you got a good chance of pulling a dog out. So with all those things being said, west wind, we climb up in an old shooting house shanty. We just climbed up in the old crawdad set, as my buddy Manchel likes to call it. Crawdad set, open for some coyotes. On our way in, we saw one already on this food plot. He had a good looking clover plot here in the fall. There was already a dog out here, it's already late. We got about 20 minutes until it gets dark. The big cold front coming in. One time was all we need. So with all those things being said, west wind, we kick on the collar and like clockwork. Coyote hunting, feast or famine, buddy. There's a dog in the corner. There's a dog one pick him out. Five seconds later, I swear, here comes a dog just running across this little clover plot. I got the Winchester SX3 shotgun. Here he comes, here he comes. house and he just saw a ton during deer season. I missed a dog out of the same setup last year. Dumb, totally my fault. So tonight instead he made me take the old Winchester shotgun, which was a good move because I did not miss tonight. That dog was, he didn't want to put on the brakes. He was going across to see our little decoy and Pa let him have it right at the end there. He, he crumpled on the spot. There was a second dog with him. But uh, when I shot, he took off into the brush. We saw a glimpse of one walking in. But nonetheless, hopefully we just saved a few fawns life on his deer hunting spot here and oh, into January, dog number one down, baby. You're watching Natural Born. Nice. Coyote number one is on the ground. January the 28th, dog one has hit the dirt, buddy. January 28th, dog number one is down for the year, baby. Out here with my buddy Manchel. Thanks to him for running the camera tonight. We're on his piece of dirt, and uh, he has got dogs every single year. Last year, same exact setup. I missed one, had the rifle. The dog didn't want to stop. That was my bad. Tonight, we were ready. I had the old SX3 in hand. Two dogs came out, barreling against the plot just as fast as they could go. Woofed at him, finally got him kind of stopped, at least slowed down. Folded him. The Winchester did its job. His buddy got off. He got away in the brush. But uh, you know what? We'll be back. We still got a lot of dog hunting days ahead of us. Dog number one down, baby. Well, we got one coyote down. Our goal is always five every year. If we could kill five, that's that's ultimately what we need to do. Sometimes it's easier said than done. These Midwestern coyotes, a little smarter in my opinion than these Western dogs or Northwest dogs.
So this time we are in the middle of February, buddy. Prime time coyote season, which is what we have learned. We're gonna finally get our butts up when it's cold in February. Easier said than done. However, we know it's the time. So we get set up. I have a feeling I know where these dogs are living. Hit the call, nothing. Our electronic call, our batteries are dead. I probably forgot it on or who knows what. Well, we're already there. We're not gonna let this go to waste. So we crank off the old hand call, a little old school style. Two minutes later, here comes a dog. He's even got a buddy back there behind him. Kyle. I'm good. Pow, the Winchester 270 rock and rolls him. Coyote number two, baby, is down. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was 10 seconds. Was hoping for a, was hoping maybe for a pair, but and we could have had him. And he he might have heard the shot and got out of here. But you know what? It's so funny. This exact same setup. I mean, we're right next to an interstate, right outside of town here. This exact same setup last year. I had two dogs come up, same thing, missed them, shot the air ball on them. This time we focused, took our time. I mean, boom, the old Winchester went to I, work. Um, the deer rifle, as double yes. as a coyote gun, buddy. Well, we're back at them, baby. February the 18th, President's Day, a couple school teachers off of school, and uh, we have been saving this setup for the right win. We need something south or something west. We were out here hunting a couple days ago and knew we couldn't push it because, man, if we've learned anything, on a coyote, you cannot make a mistake. Once in a while, a deer, you can get away with it, but for coyotes, if they can backdoor you, they will. So we knew we needed west. We got in here, got set up. The electronic call, I don't know if the batteries were dead or what, so we had a hand call, Kleeser hit that literally for like 20 seconds, and this old dog comes right out of the creek here behind me where I grew up hunting as a kid, and uh, the old Winchester 270 deer rifle went to work, having fun here in Illinois. This segment is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, makers of the swing blade that opens game like a zipper. Forecasting deer movement was just the beginning, and DeerCast has evolved into so much more, offering groundbreaking new features like DeerCast Track, our comprehensive shot tracking guide, a 10-day deer movement forecast, and DeerCast Custom, the ability to tweak our proprietary DeerCast algorithm to best represent your individual hunting areas. Because we don't want to just get you in front of that perfect whitetail. We want you to be ready for everything that comes after. So get ahead of your game and stay there with DeerCast. You grow to love the repetition. Enter at the Old Elm, third maple on the right. Maybe today, maybe not. Sleep, refuel, try again. This time is different. I've elevated myself. The old adage, you get what you pay for, still holds true today. Reconyx trail cameras have a well-earned reputation of being the most dependable, longest-lasting cameras available. Thousands of cameras we built over 10 years ago are still in use today. And if you ever do have a problem, you can rest assured that we'll stand behind our products with world-class service and support. In the end, you really do get what you pay for. So why not invest in an American-made game camera that will be there for you year after year, guaranteed. Reconyx, see what you've been missing. You're dedicated to the hunt, putting in the time, the sweat, the energy, no matter the cost. During the off season, in the heat of summer or the cold of winter, scouting, setting up your gear and equipment and making plans through every step. When it's finally go time, when it's you versus him, that's when you give your best because nothing is worse than ending a hunt before it begins with unwanted odor. Scent Crusher, scent off, game on. Winchester and Drury's Natural Born is brought to you by Sink Crusher, Bass Pro and Cabela's, Ram Trucks, Reconyx Game Cameras, Nomad Apparel, Mossy Oak Camouflage, Analogix Outdoors, DeerCast, and Winchester Ammunition.
After doubling up on a pair of yodeling yotes in Illinois, Kyle Lamour showed us exactly what can happen when you have a trusty Winchester in hand. Boom, the old Winchester went to work. Um, the deer rifle is double yes. as a coyote gun, buddy. Now, we're going to back it up a couple months to see how JJ and Kyle finished their whitetail season. They are returning to Honey Break Lodge in Louisiana for another romp through the swamp. Well, here it is. It is Christmas time. That means no school for about 10 days for this old guy. And just like last year, buddy, we are packed up. We are locked and loaded and heading to the Honey Break Lodge, Louisiana. So Kyle and I pack up the truck and we head south towards Louisiana and we are going to the Honey Break, which is five star, both in just the way you stay there, the dining, the deer hunting, phenomenal deer. We had success the year prior, so needless to say, we were excited to get back there. Pow, oh, baby, pow. Yes, nice. yes. It is WRP, big wetland reserves, lots of ducks and lots of duck hunting, but the deer love it because it's thick and the deer grow old in it. So we get down to Louisiana, first morning is up and is an absolute downpour. Inches and inches of rain from early morning all the way until after lunch. So we sat the morning out just because it was a swampy mess, literally and figuratively. But the clouds started to break and the sun started to peak out and we were on our way to the stands. Those clouds start to push through and you can feel, you can feel that crisp briskness kind of start to set in. Well, it's day one and Kaleesar's up to bat first because he's got the first day tag. And, and we're kind of talking about where to sit, this and that. And our guide, Mike, was explaining our options. And honest to God, one of them was to go sit this big green food plot that he had a little bit of confidence in. And I was all for it. As the cameraman for the first day, you know what? If I can film on a big food plot versus in some thick timber or in some of this WRP like they have, let's do it. I can run everything on auto. I got a lot of time to do it. And that's what made our decision. So we're going to a green field the first night. Fingers are crossed, we got the Winchester rifle, 270 is locked and loaded. We're hoping to make this just a great, great deer season. Merry belated Christmas, December 27th. We have made this southern trek to Louisiana and we are at the Honey Break Lodge and Outfitters. It is a duck hunting mecca, but we are white tail hunting and they have got some dandy white tails. Some of these deer in here look like Midwestern deer. We learned some hard lessons last year. One, that this stuff is thick cover and it'll hold good deer. Two, that age structure is everything down here. These deer can grow old and that pressure's a minimum. The rain finally cleared out and it's a bit warm, but the sun's trying to peak out. So we gotta figure these deer have been laid out for at least 12 hours. We hope they get on their feet. Honey Break Lodge. We're getting settled in and we feel good about it. Food plot looks good, the weather's breaking, the sun's starting to pop and everything's perfect. And before we are even settled, I look out one of the side windows and there is a giant standing there. We got a switch. Kyle and I did a little bit of a switcheroo and about that time, he skates back into the brush and follows this doe that he's on. And I, I'm not sure I saw what I saw. What should I do with the wind? It isn't 10 minutes later, he pops out again and he's got that doe with him. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Come on, doe. So I put the specs on him and when I look through that glass, I knew we were talking about a real deal buck here no matter where you're hunting in the nation. Honey break, baby, we are 20 minutes in and we have got a swamp monster. It looks like a huge seven pointer. I don't know, is it? He is a stud of a deer. He has got a doe. I gotta believe they'll be back out here. The deer was about 350, 360 yards away and never really presented us with a good shot. But another 10 minutes later, he is sliding by right down one of these paths or these cutovers and we can see him and he's at about 320, 325 yards. I don't know. It's low. It's low? Yeah, it's farther than I thought. Yeah, for 
pretty sure it was low. I pulled that trigger softly. It felt like I put a good shot on him, but it was too low. You can see the splash of water right behind him. It went right underneath him, and I felt like I just blew a phenomenal opportunity at a Louisiana swamp monster. But wouldn't you know it, 10 minutes later, he pops out on our left side with the same doe. He's about 100 yards closer. Looked like he was hit hard. I don't like that he got off the field. I never liked that they get off the field. But I think I hit him good, don't you? Did you? I don't know. I hope you did, buddy. I freaking hope you did. Folks, I can't even explain to you right now. <sighs> Let me put this down for a second. Oh, man, I hope so. It's a freaking slammer. Oh, it is a slammer of a Louisiana. Honey break, baby. Swamp monster. We are at the honey break, which is a duck hunting mecca, and that is a stud deer. And he's got me shook up because I had a chance and I missed bad. And when that gets in your head, you know. So I am one shook up because he is a stud, and I hope that, that bullet's in there because I felt really good about it. So after the shot, the deer leaves the field, and I don't like that the deer left the field, so we just called guy Drew Keith and we said, we're gonna sit tight, he's coming out. We both sit down, we slow-mo it, we kinda take it off the LCD screen on our phones, we slow-mo it, and it looks like it's right in the pocket. So we get to that brush line, and it's not but 20 yards. Drew and I step into that, into that brush, and there lay a Louisiana giant, and I am ecstatic, just absolutely ecstatic. That's right, let's do it. Oh, let's man, do it. Gosh, dang it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. That's great. Look at this Louisiana swamp monster right here, kids. We are at the Honey Break, which is the premier, world premier duck hunting. But look what we have sitting in front of us right now, folks. This is unbelievable. I'm telling you what, look at that right there. This buck is pure testament to discipline and, and great environment. In this case, a lot of people before me passed this particular buck so he could get to seven or eight years old. And then we were just excited to take this baby back to camp. We roll into camp and everybody's jaws just drop. Blake and Adam are there and they're just like, what in the world did you guys just do? And I'm not even sure what we just did. Honey Break Lodge, you've heard of them for duck hunting, world renowned, I mean the place is top notch, five star, but deer wise, I mean everything is just done right. And, and if you wait till those deer are the mature age to kill them, you, you've seen it. I mean the proof is in the pudding. You can kill 170 inch plus deer in Louisiana, um, and JJ is evidenced by that. An absolutely phenomenal beast. I mean, it was, it was truly really just the hunt of a lifetime. That's the second 170 plus for Kleser this year. That boy better go buy a lotto ticket. Here we are, honey break. We are in Louisiana over Christmas break, and it's our second year here. And if you would have told me I would have shot 171 inch deer, I'd have bet my life savings that wouldn't have happened. But it did last night. This buck, this old warrior, is a testament to a lot of discipline, a great habitat, and, and a lot of people, you know, making decisions to allow me to have this opportunity. They didn't know it was going to be me. I was the right, right guy, right place, right time, if you will. But sitting next to me is Drew Keith, and, and he, he manages the honey break in Louisiana. And I just got to give him and, and all those involved a huge shout out because this is my best deer to date, and I, I can't be more ecstatic right now, buddy. So we're, thank you. We're glad you could get it. You broke a lot of hearts taking that deer. That was a heartbreaker, right? <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's a huge thank you and, and a huge shout out to what you guys have going on down here. WRP program for how many years now? Uh, since been... 2006. And, you know, if we, we learned anything last year, it was that 
when it comes to age structure and hunting pressure in the habitat if you've got that and you know there's a lot of great soil around here with all the rivers that converge and I mean just a mammoth of a deer just gorgeous the main thing is just give them enough time to reach maturity exactly sir thank you man I appreciate thank it buddy you. Next week on Winchester and Jury's Natural Born, we team up with Aaron Bennett in Missouri as he finally gets his chance at a buck he calls TNT. He's a really nice buck he put on his show for us. After that, we'll stay in Missouri. We've got a pretty, uh, pretty good buck coming in. You won't want to miss it right here on DOD TV. The revolutionary hunting app that took the Whitetail Woods by storm just got better. 10-day forecast, algorithm customization, detailed tracking insights, and much more. Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. Country. It's not a place you visit, a station on the radio, or even a state of mind. It's who you are. It finds its roots in your connection with the land and the animals that live there. You go the extra mile and always give back more than you take. You put family first and sow seeds for the next generation to reap. You get up before dawn to see the world more clearly. That's country. Mossy Oak Breakup Country. you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors, we love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brands you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. to the next job, the next challenge, the next place, on to the next level, and all the rewards that come with it. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year, everything you need to get on to bigger things. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Leopold.